Hey everyone, this is Gary Gavin with Gary Gavin Games saying thank you all for clicking on this video. Just give me a second here while I do these last couple of little things I need to do. Alright, and just want to welcome you to the uh, Tenocon 2020. This is going to be the Borrow Kateer Special uh, Buyer's Guide. So, first we got to find where he is. Hmm. I don't see. Oh, wait, I saw it. I saw it there for just a second. There it is. All right. So here we are. We're going to... Eventually, we're going to head to Seaboro. Uh, I am a couple of minutes late getting this set up on the PS4. This is the first time I did a live stream in quite a quite a while so all right yes yes we know the the wait is over and for those of you who have watched this uh last year and and no warframe this is where you get uh whoops you'll get everything from uh borrow Kateer, everything that he's ever sold is now made available uh, at Tenocon. Tenno, All may right, I extend that's... an invitation to you? My latest collection All of right. items and from the void Now, the only way you're able to get this is if you got the, uh, the Tenocon 2020 special uh, set, uh, and then you'll be able to go to see uh, where Barl Katir is, and uh, then you'll be able to have access to <clears throat> the Tenocon Relay. And as you see here, uh, this is everything that he has ever sold. Uh, so I'm expecting to see uh, pretty good stuff here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's just start off with a Volcanic Strike. You know, I'm a meleeer, especially in this game. And so uh, I do use this, uh, the Volcanic Edge. I would recommend that. Uh, thermite rounds for your rifle. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Shell shock. I, I don't really use my shotgun or the bows too often. I really need to use them more. Uh, the Temple Royale. That's for the heavy blade and you definitely want to use that. Uh, Scorch. I do use this on my uh, Staticore. Uh, Scattering Inferno. I don't, yeah, I don't use that. But wow, it looks, looks pretty good. Uh, the pummel I do use, and then uh, let's see here, the prime target cracker. There are some really, really, really good prime mods here, but I'm looking for a particular one. Uh, let me just scroll down, I hate to just... I'm not seeing... Oh, I really thought that they will have it, but I'm not seeing it. Maybe it might be further down. Alright, but anyway, we'll just go through the uh, prime mods here. Did I skip over it? No, no, no. I did. I'm not seeing it. But anyway, uh, the prime uh, target cracker I I have used. I actually I I have it. I don't know if I have it uh, on anything right now, but I have used it and it is pretty good. Uh, then the prime uh, smites of the infested grenier, corrupted corpus. I don't use those, but if you uh, want to, <laughs> by all means, definitely use it. And hey to everybody who's uh, just uh, joined us uh, right now. This is, again, the Tenocon 2020 special edition of Borrow Kateer's shop. It's, he's going to be here all week. He's located at uh, Earth, but not at the Earth Strata Relay. It's at a special Tenocon Relay that you can only access if you have the uh, Tenocon package that that you had to buy for 
I can't remember how much this was. Uh, twenty. Uh, I'm gonna say twenty-five dollars. It's either a little bit higher or a little bit lower, but it's, we'll say twenty-five dollars. That should cover me, mostly. Uh, now going on with this uh, because there's a lot to go through. Uh, this is uh, the Prime Slip Magazine. That's actually pretty good. Uh, the mutated ammo. Uh, let's see here. The so that's for your arch wing or your arch gun. Uh, assault rifle. Yeah, that's actually that's actually uh, usable. I don't use those, but you know, I know a lot of people who do. Uh, let's see here. This is for your Sentinel Regen. I really should get this. Eventually I will. I probably won't. But I, 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 I probably will. Eventually. Prime Breach. I was just talking about this uh, last week. I definitely use this. I recommend it. If you don't have it by now, you should really, really, really get it. If you're new to the game, get that. Uh, let's see here. Hey, man. Let's see here. I got some uh, comments that I need to... catch up with all right man yeah I could do that I could do that I could show uh here I'll I'll scroll back up and that way you all can see uh, sorry that was a little quick but uh, that way you could see the top stats on uh, these mods and I'll try to go through it uh, slowly enough that you will be able to see what uh, what everything is but just keep in mind you know last year's uh, took me 32 minutes to go through so uh, I'm, I'm trying to cut that down a little bit but uh, yeah Temple Royale I definitely recommend if if you use heavy blades big blades uh, I would definitely recommend uh, getting that because I use this uh, for a couple of different uh, weapons that I have uh, I don't use this, I don't, I don't use that, uh, but that does look nice though. Uh, then you have the split fights. Ooh. Oh, oh. Huh, I, I, I might actually get that. I mean, again, I'm not big on bows, but I might actually get that. Uh, here's shell shocked. Uh, I don't get. Uh, this is scorched. Like I said it before, I use this on my staticore, stat to core, and uh, that's. I also use it on. Uh, is that it? Yeah, I think I yeah, just use it on the staticore. Uh, the, the joints, uh, the tenokan. You have to go to your market and your ship, and. Uh, the very first thing that you'll see will be uh, the set. It's called the uh, Tenocon 2020 whatever. It's a kit. But yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's, it, like I said, it, it's. I think it's $24.99. That sounds good. That sounds right. I really don't know. I, I, I just got it in. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's see here. The pummel. I do have that. I thought I did. Then the Prime Cracker, I believe, and I, yes, I do have that as well. And again, he's here all week. He's here until uh, next Saturday, the 18th. So you have a full week to get him. It's not going to be a, just a couple of days. It's a full week. So take your time. Get the uh, 25 bucks. Like I said, it's plus or minus $25. I'm not really sure. Uh, he is at the, the Tenocon Special Relay. The Tenocon Special Relay at Earth. It's not the Strata Relay. It's on the opposite side of Earth from the Strata Relay. Uh, let's see here. And then these are the Corrupteds. I'm, I'm not the, these are the Smites. I'm not really big on, on these. I think I've said that before. And I'll say it again. They're, they're nice if you use them. I just don't, I really don't care to use them. Uh, then you have the the magazines for uh, for prime slip magazine for extra capacity magazine capacity. So uh, let's see here. This is the 
shotgun mutagen, make everything a shotgun ammo. Uh, prime uh, So that oh, that's pretty good for the, your uh, arch gun. And then this is for the this is the mutagen for your rifle to make all everything you, you drop uh, rifle basically uh, ammo. Uh, this is the regen for your sentinel. The primed regen. Uh, the prime reach. I 100% use this. I 100% recommend it. Uh, this is the ravage for critical damage on your shotgun. I don't have it, but uh, again, a friend of mine, King Matthew, uh, he definitely has and he likes it. But he uses his shotguns more than I do. And then uh, the prime quick draw. This is for the uh, pistol. And I've said this before, I don't really use that, so yada, yada, yada. Uh, let's see here, the prime pressure point. I definitely recommend this. If you're a melee I recommend, I will recommend this. I am a melee primarily, so that, that's the reason why you see that almost everything that, that has to do with uh, a melee, I'm gonna have. Uh, the prime point blank, that's for the uh, damage from your shotgun. I uh, thought I had, I do have it. Uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, the prime pistol gambit. I do not have but that's for a higher critical chance I would recommend that that's 187 uh, percent on that then you have the uh, prime uh, pistol ammo mutagen uh, let's see here pack leader that's for your uh, your companion uh, works with sentinels works with uh, your your animals uh, I have the regular one I don't have the prime one this is for the Archwing, uh, which we're now using the Archwings more, so I would, I would recommend this. This is to increase your ability strength for your arch, Archwing, so I would recommend that. Uh, this is the uh, Prime Heavy Trauma. Uh, I, I, again, it's a melee, so I would recommend this because I do have it. Uh, and then, let's see here. This is the Prime Heated Charge. I am surprised. I... I don't have this. I don't have the regular, but huh, I don't have that. Anyway, uh, the here's the Prime Flow. Obviously, I don't even have to recommend this. You should automatically get this. This is to increase your uh, energy max uh, to 255 275% above. So uh, that's actually something really, 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 really good. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you, you know, I, I I said that last year that I, I never see him sell these things. Every now and then he will stick something in, but like I said, all of this stuff, I definitely say this a lot, especially going towards uh, uh, TennoCon, just wait until TennoCon. If you haven't got anything, if you don't have enough saved up, if you don't have whatever, just wait until TennoCon and get all that you want to get at Tenocon. Save up your uh, your the cots until uh, Tenocon, so that way you can just come in and just buy everything. And I I'm gonna have uh, I think I have enough to get. Uh, let's last year I did about ten thousand ducats. I think I could do about fifteen or so thousand ducats worth of stuff that I could just sell off to to get the ducats or ducats as some people call it. Uh, but yeah, he sells a lot. He sells a lot, and it today it's worth it. The rest of the time during the year, eh, but today it is worth it. $23, uh, thank you, Ricardo. I, I, I really should have wrote that down somewhere so that way I could have given out that information exactly how much it is. I just bought it and I could have looked at it this morning. I could have looked at it five minutes ago, but I didn't because I forgot. Uh, to get to this Borrow Katir, you have to buy that pack. You have you have to buy that pack to get to, to get the access to this Tenocon Borrow Katir. Yes, this is definitely going to mess up the market for a while. Uh, last year, it took it. It took about. Uh, I would say six, maybe seven, eight weeks before uh, 
prices, you know, people who are selling things to other people when things got back to normal. But, uh, oh, Prime Fever Strike. I would definitely recommend that, I mean, because I have it. Uh, Prime Flow, we did. Uh, then here's the Expels. I got this, and don't think I actually paid for this. I did a trade for, for something, and somebody gave me this, and I said, I don't really want that. They're like, I got like a dozen of them, whatever the person said, so that's the reason why I have it. So don't think I bought this. I just was given this. I, well, I guess technically I did buy it because, you know, taxes. Yay, taxes. So that's what these expels are. And then the prime cryo round, so yeah. Uh, and this is uh, to give you extra damage against the corrupted. So again, it's this is basically the same stuff as as before, but it's weapon specific. Am I missing anything? Yeah, the Tenocon Digital Pack. I really should have wrote that kind of stuff down so that way I could have given out the uh, information. Uh, this is Prime Continuity. <laughs> I I agree with you, Carl. This is a free game. I and I say that all the time. This game is 100% free. If you do not want to do this, if you do not want to do spend a dime you do not have to spend a dime for any of it you can figure out ways to get it through uh doing uh relic missions so you could buy get, get a bunch of uh, prime junk put together a, a prime part a, a, a primed of whatever uh, be it a warframe or a weapon and sell that uh, warframe or weapon to another player for platinum and then take that platinum and buy any of these from another player so that way you are not spending a dime at all I just choose to spend money because number one it's easier number two this is a free game and this is a triple A free game that you don't have to spend anything on but I choose to because DE overall has been pretty good to us so I have to say I recommend spending a couple of dollars at least on, on on the game every now and then just because these developers are doing a pretty good job. Uh, let's see here. I think I hit this up. Uh, primed uh, Bane of Infested. So yeah, this is here. I'll start back down here. And you have the Corrupted and then the corpus and then you have prime animal instinct which is really really cool and I can't believe I don't have it so that's another doodad that I might have to pick up and then you have the uh, astral glaze now I obviously whoops hit the wrong thing kind of slipped right up there I do have the glaze I have several different uh, orvis and I, I have a, several different glaze so uh, I would definitely recommend this. That's a nice, a nice little, uh, thing. whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, people. Until next time. I hit the circle button twice. Why I hit the circle button at all, I don't know. All right, and then uh, this is for the rifle. I do have this, and I do use this a lot. I like slash that. I li I like slash damage, especially with the rifle. People are all different about that, but I, for some reason, I like slash damage. That's me. You you may not. You you may want something else, but I do like slash damage. Yeah, sorry, people. I don't know why I did that. Uh, then this is Crash Course. This is for Impact. I do have a lot of these, but uh, I have them staggered for uh, different uh, Warframes at different times. So uh, that's the reason why I have a few of them. 
and I do use a lot of impact on some things. And I do use some impact on my melee, but that's primarily for the hammer, like uh, the wolf sledge, things of that nature. Uh, and so I'll recommend that uh, for sure. Now this is the buzzkill. This is something that I do not have, which is kind of surprising. But again, thank you all for joining me. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave comments down so I could uh, interact with you. And if you have a question, I can answer it. Or Morocco is doing a pretty good job too, so he can answer it as well. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Now this is the full contact. I, yeah, I do have, I do have that, and I do have. Uh, I do use this a lot both of them uh, let's see this is the high voltage for uh, rifles uh, so that's actually pretty cool uh, jolt I do not use because I barely use my pistols outside of just a couple like I said the set of where I use a viper on occasion and a couple of others but uh, primarily I'm a melee rifle kind of guy and then the main which is uh, for a pistol slash damage so yada 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 now here's the um, machete wraith i we was just talking about this last week i really should get this i have the wraith that you're able to get out of your uh, dojo i have not the wraith the uh, machete that you get out of your dojo i have that but uh i i should get this uh, machete wraith uh because the critical chance is a little bit higher and uh, there was another stat that I saw that was different, and I can't remember. That, uh, there's several stats that are different, but there's one that I particularly zone in on, and uh, I can't remember what it is. But uh, yeah, I, I will recommend that. That's a very good weapon. And for all of you new guys out there, 100% I will recommend the Ignis Wraith. I recommend all the Ignis weapons, the one that you get from the base that you get from your... Uh, dojo as well as this one i believe somebody was telling me that on pc there might be another one but i don't i don't know about that i haven't seen it so but i do know there's the two there might be others i know there's not a prime but i <laughs> if there was i would have it but uh, i would definitely recommend getting this this is an awesome 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 weapon uh the Glaxon Vandal. I, I have the uh, regular one. Uh, I do not have this one. And so, how much is it? It's uh, 475, 250,000. Okay, yeah, we, we can definitely, uh, we can definitely get that. And then, uh, let's see here, the Meroditron. Awesome weapon, by the way, people. Uh, you could you could destroy people, you could destroy things with this. Yeah, you, you, you're looking ahead. Uh, here's the Prisma Angstrom. I used to have this. Uh, I got rid of it, but I used to actually uh, have this. I don't mean to say I got rid of it, I, I mean I sold it. I shouldn't say I... I, I <laughs> but uh, I used to have this, uh, but uh, I needed space for some reason. This was a couple years back. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this. This is a decent weapon, uh, and if you f fix it up right, it's really, 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 really nice. But yes, uh, here's the uh, dual cleavers. A nice little little set of weapons there. Uh, the Prisma, the Prisma Gorgon. Uh, I do, yeah, I do have this, and. Uh, I like it because it has a pretty high base critical chance, and so uh, that's what I base my stuff on. I know everybody has some, everybody does things a little differently. I like to have a high uh, base critical chance so I could build that critical chance up even higher uh, with the bright mods. Uh, now here's the Prisma uh, Gricotta. I do not have this, but. Oh, I thought it'd be. Oh, it's not here. Oh well. Uh, then here's the. Uh... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing the. Uh... Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Here's the twin Grizz gremlins. Uh, never had these. I do have. I mean, I never had the Prisma gremlins. I have the regular uh, twin gremlins, but not the uh, Prisma. Uh, then this is for your uh, Archwing, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I do not have it either, but uh, I am going to be using the Archwing more because that's that is just what it is. And sorry, I skipped the whole thing. Uh, Grimlock, did I show that? No, I did not. Grimlock, awesome uh, sniper. Awesome. Uh, and then the Obex, I don't use these, so um, maybe uh, leave a comment down below. Somebody might be able to let you know what they think of it. I've never used, uh, never used this, so I'm not the one to ask about uh, physical melee. By the Day of the Dead Skins. Yes, I do like the Day of the de Dead Skins. I do not have them, but uh, I don't think. I'm almost positive I don't. And then here's the Prisma Detra, te Tetra. Show that. Uh, Prova Vondel. Nice little weapon there. But again, I don't really use that. Uh, I have seen people use the. Uh, Quanta Vandal. So here yeah, I'll slowly go down so you all could get a good look at that. That's actually a very nice weapon. The uh, Quantas are all really, really nice weapons. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Supra Vandal. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. I really should get this. I really, really, really should get this, and it's cheap too. Yeah. Uh, the Viper Wraith, nice. And then let's see here, what else? Uh, the Volker Wraith. Oh yeah, look at that, that's nice right there. Yeah, that's nice. And then uh, the Zylock. I was just turned on to the Zylock, unfortunately, like really, 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 really recently. So, uh, he's at the special Tenocon relay at uh, Earth. You have to have uh, the Tenocon access to, uh, to see him. And now here's... Uh, do I have this? No, I do not have this. Oh, but it looks nice. So uh, let's see here. What do we have? The Ampu staff. Uh, I did just I did spend a lot of time going to the. Uh, wait to the end. I'm gonna just back go back up. I'm gonna kind of skim through it again when I finish through. But I just finished the uh, the mod, so I'll skim back up to the top uh, before I uh, get off. Okay. The Ampu staff. Let's see. And then here's the. Ampu. Oh, that's that's actually kind of nice. I'm not really 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 big on them, but. Uh, oh yeah, that that could be nice on a couple of different things that I have. Uh, now here's the uh, Dark Sword Day of the Day of the Dead skin. Dark, those Day of the Dead skins are really, really, really nice. Uh, here's the uh, Gorgon Townsend skin. I have only one Townsend skin, and that is uh, oh yeah, the Ignis. Uh, so yeah, that, that that looks pretty nice. 
And then here's the uh, Katir arrow. Yeah, he is selling everything that he has ever sold, ever, except for one thing. But we're not going to talk about that. Uh, that was the Katir. Paracesis skin. I wish these would let me turn it so I could show you quicker. There's that. And then here is the Exilis skin for the Sonicore. I used to use that a lot. I might have to equip the Sonicore again. Uh, the Redeemer. I used to use the Redeemer a lot. So, uh, this. Gun blades. I really like gun blades. I'm a Final Fantasy guy uh, from from way, way, way back. So I like gun blades. Uh, then let's see here. What else do we have? Then the Prisma arrows. Oh yeah, that's nice. And then uh, the Quanta. I have. I've never figured out how to say this, but you can read it. And that looks nice. Look at that the blue camo. And then let's see what else do we have. Oh yeah, I have this for my uh, Opticore. The Exodus skin for the Opticore. Uh, the Day of the Dead for your Dread. <laughs> uh, the Barrel Katir Glyph, I don't need to actually show you that. Uh, this is the Exodus Latron uh, chest plate. Uh, the Domus Siandana. Uh, here's the Kubro and the Kavat cookie glyphs, Christmas cookie glyphs. And now here's back to the uh, Exilus uh, Latron leg plates. Oh wow, that looks nice. That looks pretty good on uh, Rhino Prime here. You know what, I might have to get the yeah, it only shows one at a time, but yeah, let's see here. Uh, the Eminence uh, color palette, the Enos uh, armor, Eos armor, Eos prime armor set. I do have that. Uh, the sigils for uh, the Kavats. Alright, one for the chest. Uh, the Fey Path and Femra, I do have that obviously. And then uh, this the chest for the uh, Eos Prime chest plate. I'll give you a quick look at that, yeah. Uh, the Hawkernar Wraith. Uh, the Hawkernar Hark Wraith uh, Cloak, the Asiandana. He's going to be here for a full week. He does not leave until the 18th of July. So he's here for a full week. Plus he comes back. I was told this. I'm not one. You know what? Yes. He comes back in August. I want to say August 1st, but I'm not 100% on that. But I believe he comes back. I know he comes back in August. It's just exactly when I want to say August 1st. But he comes back in August for again for this for a full week because they've delayed physical Tenocon until August in uh, up there in Canada so oh yeah 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 I agree with you there uh, I agree with you there Ricardo uh, let's see here now here's the uh, the Katir uh, color palette. If you if you're new to this game, 100% get the color palettes, especially from Katir because they're dirt cheap, easy to get, and uh, the more colors you have, the better your uh, warframes and, and whatever else that you're decorating will look. Uh, here's the Katir uh, chest plate. I do like this. I I kind of have it. So uh, <laughs> there's the in my belly glyph. 
Uh, here's the uh, immortal skin. I'm not big on the immortal skins. If you follow me at all, you'll know that I really can't stand the immortal skins. I know a lot of people out there love them. I'm, I'm not big on them at all. And here's the uh, Tear Dia Dax Diox uh, Siandana. Yeah. This borrow is only available to the Tenokan buyers, correct? But this again has everything that uh, Borrow Katir has ever, ever, ever sold. Wait, I think I missed. Did I? Did I get this? Oh yeah, yeah. The tier ephemera. Can't believe I haven't got this yet. All right. And then the tier uh, foros uh, shoulder plates. And leg. Yeah, uh, I believe you can because again, like I said, I saw it this uh, this morning. Why well, didn't write down the information from it so I could have the information ready for me? But I saw it this morning. It was still on. I don't know, two hours ago. So I'm. I, I don't know. It it, it 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 should still be there. It should still be there. Uh, there's the Katir grip, uh, Katir tribute glyph. I'm gonna say three words at once. Uh, this is the Siandana that I said last year at TunnelCon that I was going to buy, and as you see, I still have not bought it. Eventually, I tell you, I will buy it. I might buy this, though, first. And then the tier uh, shoulder plates. And I do have those. have these uh, let's see this is the uh, Miss Mesa immortal skin but I know there's a lot of people out there who are com completionist so uh, So I know a lot, that's the reason why a lot of people get these things. Uh, the Limbo. Oh, this is... Uh, obviously I have these. You're not going to be able to... Yeah, obviously I have them. As you see, here's... And then there, there's what it looks like base. And that's what it looks like on mine. On me. On me, and this is what it comes. This is how it comes. All right, then you have the Mirage Immortal skin. Oh, not gonna let me. Uh, and then the Pack Leader uh, sigil and emblem. All right. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try to end this as quickly as possible, everybody. So whatever you missed at the beginning. As soon as I end this, you'll be able to watch uh, the beginning for the first uh, about five, ten minutes is all mods. All mods, and then after that, the next ten minutes is all weapons. So, uh, they're about. And then you have, I, I do not have these because they're just so tiny and I don't see a point in them, but, uh, but I do have that. Obviously. I have these, but I have the set, so uh, that's why it's not showing up. And I have this. Again, I have the set. 
but again thank you all for uh clicking on this and please uh help help me out help out this uh channel and just uh please like subscribe uh hit that bell and uh, leave a comment down below tell me what i could do to make this better tell me what you like about this and tell me what you think about uh borrow katir and are you surprised that he actually sells all this stuff because i get that a lot he doesn't sell he doesn't sell anything well maybe not during the year but it all adds up i do have this i put this on my wisp uh, i do not have this and i am thinking about getting that because i think it will work well with uh, a couple of things i have Oh, thank you, Ricardo. Oh, yeah, that looks kind of nice. Yeah, that, I have that. And then the Prisma Sigils, the Prisma Lotus Sigil and Glyph and Emblem. And then the Prisma Sigil. The Uru Siandana. I can't remember who I put this on, but I do have this as well. Uh, the Kavats uh, Prisma Glyph. But yeah, people, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible. I'm trying to make this short, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too short. All right. Now, why they have these separated, not just put in a set, make things go a whole lot faster for everybody. But, oh well. But again, I do have this because there's mine and there's what they look like when you get them. Uh, the Zephyr Immortal Skin. Oh. Oh. Uh, then here's the Kavat uh, Sentinel Tail. Sorry, I, I have a weird uh, Sentinel. I don't know why I, I, I'm using this one, but uh, I think I was fishing with, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's the Sentinel Tail. The Kavat Sentinel Mask. Oh, so that's what this is going to look like. <laughs> the camo skin for that. Uh, the Nexus fur pattern. All uh, right. <laughs> yep, that's my puppy people. Uh, there's the Kavat Sentinel wings. Again, it doesn't look right with uh, this. Now here is the Katir Kavat armor. And there's my Kavat. Uh, the Kubro. Katir armor. The Katir Sentinel mass. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. <laughs> I really should get these, but oh well. Oh, that actually works with this thing. 
All right. I will be showing the relics here in just a second. We're almost. Yeah, we're almost done. Uh, da, 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 here we go. Oh, that looks nice for my puppy. Hardly use those guys anymore, but. <clears throat> uh, three day credit booster, uh, the affinity booster resource, and uh, mod drop chance booster. Uh, here's the day of the dead for the Kavat. And then the taxon, the desert camo skin. Uh, I do recommend these. Uh, I use them myself all the time, but uh, it's it. I, I guess it's just up to you know your play style. That's my play style. Uh, on occasion, to send out, I hate to say it, minions, and let them uh, take all the fire while I uh, use my whatever to melee them to death. Uh, same with this. All right. Uh, yeah, I do have this. All right. Now we're going to show you this uh, relic uh, because it looks like there is only the one relic. So I'll let you uh, take a, t a little bit of time to look at it. It's it's just for the le <clears throat> excuse me. It is just for the Lex and the Oclex, and that's it. So, this is the only, uh, this is the only relic, the A2 Axie. Uh, this is for the, uh, Groose, the Groose Trag, the Groose Trag 3 beacon. When you're farming them, that's an awesome thing to have. Uh, the Inaros Tomb Scene, the Stalker Beacon, if you're, uh, hunting him. If you don't have sands, if you don't have Anaros, get sands of Anaros so you can get one of the best. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to. If you just want regular Anaros, get this. Yes. <laughs> uh, here's the uh, Orkin extraction scene. Some fireworks. Uh, there's the Zanuka Hunter Beacon. And then you have a bunch of stuff for your, uh, orbiter or dojo to make the orbiter or dojo look nice. I have a lot of this stuff. Some of it obviously I don't, but some of it obviously I do. And then, uh, your, uh, stuff for your operator. Uh, this is my least favorite. I don't like a horn coming out of my head. That's just that's just kind of crazy right there. But I, for some reason, I've seen a lot of people use this. So <laughs> this is where they get it from, if you've been wanting to know. <laughs> uh, then, but basically, uh, that's really all. All this rest of this stuff is is earrings, stuff for your orbiter. Uh, stuff to make your orbiter look nice. Obviously, I have this. No <laughs> cat for the win. <laughs> I do not have this because I barely use my uh, Lisette anymore. So that's the reason why I've not gotten, uh, have not purchased that. Uh, I keep saying I want to get this as well, but I, I really like the uh, Prisma skin on my Scimitar, so I don't think I'm going to get this because I'm just not going to put it on. I'm not going to use it because I really like my uh, Prisma skin on my Scimitar. But really, uh, I also have this for uh, the toilet lid, uh, the Zephos Prisma skin. And then I believe... 
that is it yes I do have this Wait a second. Prime Chamber? Hey, uh, everybody. I guess I should have scrolled all the way down to the bottom, but, uh, there is Prime Chamber. <laughs> yes, 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 it's, it's 3,000 Ducats. I know, I know, I know. But, it's Prime Chamber, people. <laughs> That's, that's just, I know, I know. But is it worth it? Absolutely, it's worth it. Do I recommend you getting it? 1,000%, I recommend you getting it. If you don't get anything else here, you get the Prime Chamber. Uh, is, it, it is worth it. Uh, when those Eidolons drop in one shot, you, you'll say, oh, you know what? I'm glad I got that. And you'll say to me, you were right. <laughs> uh, because keep in mind, uh, before he offered this in, I want to say it was February of this year when this was offered. Uh, before that, the Prime Chamber, the Primed Chamber mods were selling for ten or fifteen thousand uh, platinum. I'm gonna say it again slower. 10 to 15,000 platinum. When he offered it, after he offered it, it dropped down a bit because everybody was able to get access to it for those couple of days. Not every, well, you know, everybody had access, but not everybody was able to get it because it was 3,000 Ducats. But after that, it kind of went down to five or 6,000 uh, platinum. Now it's kind of back up to the last time I priced it, which was back in May, so take this with a grain of salt but back in May they were sell selling again for uh, about 10,000 eight nine ten thousand uh, uh, regularly uh, obviously I have it obviously I have no choice but to recommend it I was thinking that it was gonna be way up here with the mods way 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 up here with the mods I didn't see it and I just said oh well I guess uh, he doesn't have it and I was actually kind of getting a little upset but uh, There it is. Yes, and you're right about the uh, strofa. Yes. All right, people. Well, that is it. This looks like it's going to be longer than uh, last year's, and I was trying to make it shorter. It did not work. Uh, I was going to try to go through uh, this again for the, the latecomers, but what I'm going to do is get off here right now, and so that way you will be able to watch the first 10 minutes of, of this so you can get the, uh, so you can see what, what all came in with the, uh, uh, with the mods. So with all that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, I, I enjoy doing this. I do it for the fun of it, but it will help out the channel a lot. It will help me out a lot personally. If you uh, like, and more so if you subscribe, hit that bell, leave a couple of comments. I want to thank everybody who commented on this. Thank you so much. You are gods in my eyes. And with all that being said, again, thank you all, and I will see you all next time.